Hello and welcome back to another episode of Drams Delivered. Today we've got something that I think we're both big fans of. Um, it's a brand new release from the guys at Adelphi slash Arden American. It's not actually Arden American the bottle, but we will explain all about what this release is about uh, in the episode. So yeah, I'll maybe pass you over to John, who's going to tell you a little bit about this release, which is called McLean's Nose. Yes. So what we have in front of us here today is a blended scotch whiskey called McLean's Nose. Now, if you ever get the chance to go down to Arden and Merchen and you have some time on your hands, there's a lovely walk you can do which will take you out to the point which is known as McLean's Nose. And it's formed of agglomerate, which is a type of rock. I didn't know that until earlier today. Um, it's a type of rock that's formed in the vents of volcanoes. And as some of you might know, Arden and Merchen was a volcano a long, long time ago. So, with that in mind, it is over to you, Matthew, to okay. talk about the other McLean's nose. The other McLean's nose, so yeah. So it's kind of a double meaning, um, this whiskey. So McLean's nose also refers to Charles McLean, who, if you're a whiskey fan, may have come across one of many of his books. He also has worked in the past, and still currently does, um, with Adelphi and Arden American, often writing some of their tasting notes in the past. I know Arden American do to do their own now, but he's still quite heavily involved with, with some of their releases. And speaking of releases, he's obviously very much involved in this one. It's probably just best to read the back of the bottle here to explain um, a little bit more about it. So <clears throat> a quote from Charles himself, he says, although most of my work is devoted to malt whiskey, my friends know that blended scotch is my go-to dram. This blend has been rigorously assembled to have a West Coast character with both a high malt content, 70%, and a high proportion of ex-sherry casks. I am proud to be part of it. Charles McLean. Now, one of the things he talks about in the back there is the malt content. So, blends often have quite a low malt content in modern whiskey. So, not too bad mouth whiskies, but if you think of like Famous Grouse, White and Mackay, kind of your everyday supermarket drams, which are totally accessible to everyone, um, they tend to have a high proportion of grain whiskey, which is cheaper and easier to, pr to produce. But back in the day, blended whiskey tend to have a much, much higher proportion of malt whiskey. Um, so that is what this is almost replicating as an older style of blend. And I think we, we're both big fans of blends as well, and we think they're, they're coming back in, which is, which is great. Yes, I mean, what you get when you're, when you're trying a blended Scotch whisky, you do have a little bit of grain whisky in there with this one, 30%, but you've got 70% malt, and it's much better value, maybe, yeah. I would say. Yeah. Um, I think this bottle's retailing for around about £30. We're very lucky to have it. Um, I don't believe it's been officially released yet. Um, but yeah, let's... Should we give it a go? We try, shall now, we? Norm normally we try them before and kind of do a little bit of homework on the drams and whatnot, but uh, oh, no. we have not tried this. No. This I is... This was dropped off this morning. And this bottle's actually going to the States after today. Uh, Connell very kindly dropped it off. You've, you've beat me with I'm, a court now. Well, he's, he's a man from Arden Americans, keen to try. And I've been keen to try this ever, <laughs> ever since I learned about it. He's in a rush here. Now, another wee point, just before we have a taste of the dram, the packaging is absolutely beautiful on this bottle. And if you have a little look, um, you can actually see McLean's nose on the front there. Which um, one? Oh, well, I don't know. It looks, I mean, it looks like the rock kind of formation <laughs> um, and the, the point, but I'm not sure. Arcing into the sound of Mull, above the mouth of Loch Sunert, McLean's nose has long been celebrated by Adelphi, whose own chief nose, Charles McLean, once wrote of their distillery, Ardnamurchan Distillery, closest to my nose. There we go. There we go. And another point about the labelling, um, this has actually been produced from some of the draft, that is some of the waste barley, um, that is waste made using uh, during the whiskey making process. This has actually been produced from that waste. So it ties the paper. into, yes, the, the paper, paper, the paper yeah. itself has been produced from wow. draft, which ties into Adelphi and Arden American's sort of commitment to sustainability, which I think is, is really fantastic. So let's have a nose. Now, I imagine that quite a high amount of the malt in this blend will be Arden American. 
But I've been informed that there is single malt from a different region as mm. well in there. There is a smokiness to it on the nose, which I wasn't expecting. Um, when I first seen the release, I thought it was going to be completely unpeated, but hearing there's Arden American and other whiskey in there, there is a there is a lightly kind of peated smell to that. Yeah, and I think that really ties back into what it says on the back about a West Coast character. For me, West Coast whiskey is absolutely the style that I love the most. If you look all the way up and down the West Coast of Scotland, distilleries like Arden American, distilleries like Springbank, like Talisker, Torreveg, Rasse, that have a little bit of smoke, but when it's not the dominant flavour, those are the, the whiskies that I find myself enjoying certainly the most. I'm desperate to try this. Let's have a taste. Yeah. Here we go. It's lunch. It's lunch, yeah. Mm. Now, I'm not sure if I've ever mm. tried a blend at 46%. Often when I try a blend that's maybe, you know, your standard grouse or whatever, it's a 40% and it tastes really watery, but that has a lovely mouthfeel, but it's a lot lighter. Mm. It doesn't have, it's not quite as thick as a single malt. That's very nice. Really drinkable, quaffable, I think. Quaffable. It's, it's the term that posh people use to not sound like alcoholics. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a way of saying, I could quite easily drink half a bottle of that in a night. <laughs> we do get asked a lot about blends in the bar and People do have a kind of common misconception with blends. They, they do view blends as inferior to single malts. I would argue it's harder to make a good blend um, than it is a single malt. A single malt is, is what it is. It is your distillery and yes, there's variants you can do, but the style is always going to be relatively in the same ballpark. Whereas to make a blend and consistently make a blend at a large scale is is a real skill. I think this is 25,000 bottles. I believe so. Is yes. being released of this. So yep. um, hopefully readily available for you guys. As I say, we've been lucky to get this before it's been officially released. So um, yeah, by the, time, by the time this episode goes out, you should be able to, to get a bottle. Um, and just on the whole, I think, I think everyone knows who watches us. We're both big fans of Adelphi, Arden American. Um, we were very lucky to be invited over there for our, our Christmas night out in the bar, which was which was a good 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 time. Have you got any fond memories of that, John? Many fond memories. Or what yes. you can remember? <coughs> oh, I remember the whole thing. <laughs> but um, I think for me, you know, to be invited down to Arden American, to be so well looked after, and to have the whole team travel down there to see the distillery was was amazing. Um, you know, you talk about places like Arden American, far-flung remote corners of Scotland that you have to be traveling to. You know, no one's passing through Arden American. Um, you talk about them, but unless you see them for yourselves, unless you go and see where the whiskey's made, you can't really get a sense of what they're all about, I think. Yeah. So thank you again to, to Arden American and for Connell for looking after us so well. And if anyone does get the opportunity, then I, I really implore you to, to get down to Arden American to have a yeah. look around. Um, it's a it super really place. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's yeah. proper whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's proper people. It's just it's what whiskey's all about for us. Um, yeah. John's from that neck of the woods. I've got family from that neck of the woods. So there is a connection there. But even putting that aside, I would yeah agree with what you're saying. Definitely try and get down there and visit. We were lucky that it was actually snowing when we were there, which is very unusual for the west coast. It's, but it's very unusual because of the Gulf Stream. Mm -hmm. The Gulf Stream. <coughs> the Gulf so Stream. Yes. That brings a lot of warm, warm air and water. Well, warm water up to our American. So it was a beautiful, clear day. Snow on the ground, but blue skies. And yeah, we couldn't have asked for a better trip. I don't no, think. for sure. And yeah, a very good dram. So we we're just kind of reminiscing here of a story. Yeah. This is probably not what you want to hear. Um, but yeah, that's uh, a great dram. Thanks to the guys. Uh, thanks to Connell for dropping this off just in time for our, for us um, and this individual bottle is off to America um, and then we're going to get the stock and get it out to you guys so yeah hope you enjoy it when it comes through the post so slange slange about.